to jump back in the ocean is just so therapeutic. Here we are as surfers, you're always trying to connect with your mind, your body, and your spirit. And when you see somebody whose life is off balance a little bit, it's like a spinal injury, I mean, but they still are drawn to that ocean because that little slice, that little slice of the ocean just, just makes everything okay. And maybe it's just for that moment, but that moment's worth the world, you know? I'm at uh, Casa Colina Rehabilitation Center out in Pomona, California. Uh, I do a lot of working out, uh, building up my arms. Because what you see here, right now, my arms, this is, this is all I can do. This and, you know, move my head around a little bit. Nathan's recovery uh, to date has been fairly predictable. He's already learned how to get a feel for his new body now that his spinal cord injured. However, I still have some hopes for further neurologic recovery. Is it right to walk into a room and say, hey, you're a complete spinal cord injured patient. You have a 3% chance of walking again. Or what if he is one of the 3%? Don't you have a duty and an obligation as a physician, as an institution, to make sure that he may become one of the 3%? The people that have come into my life and, have, and also the people that are already there um, are absolutely amazing. It just makes me work that much harder because there's no way I can let any of these people down, uh, nor would I ever want to. Um, whether I'm working out or eating or sitting in my bed, it's constant. Uh, I just want uh, my body to work again. That's all that's on my mind and the surf.